It's 5.30 in the morning, and that bird, or whatever the hell it is, is going all night long. Good morning, everybody. Family and friends, everybody. It's, uh... Let me get these dates right, because I screwed up the last couple of times. It's May 21st. It's day 24. And today's pickup day. Short three miles into High Point State uh, Park office. And my number one trail angel is going to pick me up. And at that point, we have completed 313.6 300, miles of the trail. And we'll slack pack the next couple of sections um, and I'm just leading the the, uh, the shelter and you can see behind me there's a really interesting structure here hold on let me turn you around so it's really kind of interesting here it's definitely some walls or something something was placed here a long time ago of course, at one time, these were all, all used to be farmland. Because I crossed a couple of uh, rock wall barriers, boundary markers, or barriers, really. Land markers, I guess, uh, yesterday. But this used to be, a long time ago, farm country. Well, at least a lot of it up by me, where I live in Sussex County. Uh, pull out of the trail. See, like right there. You can't see it through the leaves, but that's a, a wall, a, a boundary right, marker right there. So anyway, I'm rambling. This is the long approach trail to the AT, about 0.4. So, uh, short day. But we'll keep you posted when you see stuff. All right, back on the ET. I do know that <clears throat> once we get closer, or actually, once we get away from High Point, these rocks diminish greatly because it will be mostly pastures, and the trail goes in and out of New York and New Jersey at that section as it runs uh, north northeast along the New York, New Jersey border. So that'll be nice because we're all sick of these rocks by now. Anybody leaving from well, anybody leaving from Georgia or even Harpers Ferry for that matter, your feet hurt right about now. And there's nothing you can do, nothing you can do about it. Because it's just the way it is. You want to hike? Yeah, your feet are going to hurt. It's just controlling that pain uh, is, uh, is the key. And for me, controlling these blisters. I got a feeling that one of the contributing factors is I bought these shoes half size larger. Because when you hike, your feet expand. But with the Ultra Shoes, they have a larger toe box so that they'll take that expansion. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna see if REI has these in my regular size. And maybe pick them up and then get some sock liners. That'll help. I just saw a cub run out right beyond that AT blaze. So, of course, when you see a cub, you gotta wonder where's mom. I heard some big rustling, which I knew it was bear. And I stopped trying to get my camera out, and of course, I couldn't get it on 
soon enough. camera out ready to see if I can find mama and junior bear. Here's a picture of Lake Rutherford and in the background hold on I can't see all right and in the background I'm looking right in the sun you used to see a uh, while on the mountain there's a big descent down. Can't really tell, but it's a big one. Look, Dan and Jordan, it's the Blue Dot Trail. Remember coming up from uh, Sawmill uh, Pond when we used to camp? Used to take this trail, come up to the AT, and used to go to the uh, lake in High Point. Yeah, I'm here. And funny enough, almost 30 years to the day, uh, I section hiked this section with uh, my buddy Steve Roth in 1991. Around this time. It was either before or after Memorial Day weekend. But uh, here we are. The Blue Dot Trail, everybody. I know it doesn't mean much to you, but I think Dana Jordan it does. Oh yeah, and oh by the way, I think my number one trail angel had hiked this a couple times when she would camp with us. But uh, she doesn't hike anymore. Seems like right after our marriage, all of a sudden her hiking boots were lost. I don't know. But that's a story for another time. Come to think of it, I think my parents even took this hike once. And they came up to see us while we were camping. Yeah. That was, uh, it had to be yeah, uh, 30 years, maybe 29 years ago. Wow, time flies, doesn't it? That sign's been there a long time. Look at how the bark is starting to mold over the sign. Okay, well, coming out to uh, High Point State Park office. I've done, I have done trail magic over here, too, a few years back. And uh, so this is where my number one trail angel is going to pick me up. Hi. Runner. Oh, and she's there. Holy crap. Is that her? Hello, family and friends. It's me, EB on the AT. Yes, I look a little bit cleaner around the face especially. Boy, was it hard trying to shave off a beard that you've had for 24 days. But I'm uh, resting, relaxing on the hammock. And you can see my lake in the background. So we are home. Yes, we're home for double zero. Rest, recuperation, see some family, looking forward to it all. And it's still beautiful out here. So we're going to end today. Today's in Nero, only three miles from our um, shelter, Rutherford Shelter, into uh, High Point State Park. Uh, my number one trail angel met me there. And uh, we're home doing laundry, doing the usual hostel stuff, laundry, shower, laundry and rest so that's what we're doing right now so um i gotta mound the mail to check but anyway that's it for today so right now my total mileage from harpers ferry to the high point state park uh, office is 313.6 miles so uh that's where we stand right now we'll pick it up uh probably monday and we we'll do some slack pack and we'll let you know what that'll be so once again thanks for watching 
God bless and have a great, great day and weekend.